I do know that at the uh, operations room, Barnes Wallace was there, and when he heard how many aircraft were lost, he cried. He said, I have killed all those young men. I'll never do anything like that again. And Gibson tried to console him by saying, no, Barnes, you didn't kill those men. Without you, that raid could never have taken place. You made that raid possible. He said, whenever we take off on any of these raids, we know there's always a chance that we won't be coming back. And that's what's happened today on this occasion. Everybody realised there was a chance they wouldn't be coming back. Some were less fortunate than others. But it certainly had nothing to do with you. But in spite of that, and Mary may have told you this, he lived with that until he died, in actual fact. The, the thought that his invention had caused so many deaths lived with him for the rest of his life. He was a wonderful man, there's no doubt about that. And he went on, in spite of that, to produce for the squadron, he produced the Tormoy, the 12,000 pound earthquake bomb which spiralled, went into the target and didn't explode until it got in and then it exploded. And then he produced the, the Grand Slam 22,000 pounder. The fact that each time he produced a bomb, the aircraft had to be modified so it could carry it, but Avio seemed to cope with that really well too. Yeah, he was a great, a great man, there's no doubt.